Hello, this is my last episode of the year, but stuff still happened. So what's up? Hopefully Grindavik is up still in the future. Uh, a small town in Iceland has been evacuated. 4,000 residents removed as a volcano is kind of going That's volcano, that's, that's, that's a volcano. Dear God, we're not off to a good start. <laughs> All right, so there's been massive volcanic activity in Iceland. Wow, shocker, never happened before. Uh, but there's a town called Grendavik and they, they're they basically in the shadow of the current active volcano. 4,000 residents have been evacuated. They have found shelter elsewhere. They're kind of used to this. A report from the BBC quoted a resident in saying, no, I'm not afraid of going back. If it starts to shake again, I'm just gonna leave. Just kind of casually being like, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a volcano, but I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of there. So what if it goes, ha, 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 I'll just walk away. This lava can't catch my ass. Too powerful. Um, Colorado said no uh, to Trump. <sniffs> Sniff. The Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that Trump will not be on their 2024 presidential ballot. That doesn't necessarily mean that Trump won't be on their 2024 presidential ballot. I mean, cool and all, uh, but Trump's legal team is going to appeal this to the Supreme Court. Uh, so, I mean, it's the Supreme Court. They got rid of your rights. I don't quite trust them to uphold a state determining that a guy did a bad, whatever. The Colorado Supreme Court found that Trump's ongoing efforts to try to overturn the 2020 election results constituted insurrection, which triggers a, a part of the 14th Amendment, which means that he's not allowed to be on the ballot. This is pretty big. Like it's a big deal regardless. Even if it does go to the Supreme Court and get shot down, this is the first time this actually went through. Sets a bit of a precedent. And if the SCOTUS does end up upholding this, that is a massive deal. So like, yes, I'm, I'm not particularly optimistic that this is going to actually be the case. But if it is, holy God. Now, if only we could do the same for Biden. Video game developer Insomniac Games, who makes the Spider-Man games, they got hit with a ridiculously massive ransomware attack. 1.6 terabytes of internal data, about 1.3 million files have been posted online by the attackers. Contents include files for unreleased games, gameplay footage of unreleased games, entire plot summaries for unreleased games, as well as contracts with like Sony and Marvel, and also HR files, like employees' private information, like I-9 forms and shit. The hacker group uh, is quoted in saying, quote, we knew that developers making games like this would be an easy target. Get, God, my goodness. First you get snubbed for game of the year and damn. Although you, you didn't really get snubbed for game of the year. You make good games, Insomniac. I really like them. But I mean, Baldur's Gate, I mean, come on. On this day in 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs premiered for the first time. This was the first ever premiere of a feature length animated film. It was also the first movie to accurately depict me. A grumpy boy. Just a little, just a grumpy little dude. Lightning round. Here is the weather that I have put together for you on this episode of Stuff Keeps Happening, my informational current events show. Comcast slash Xfinity has announced that there's been a data breach in their servers affecting 35 million customers or more. Stolen data includes usernames and hashed passwords, but for some users, you may have had your name and like address, your security question answers, and also like the last four digits of your social, the bad stuff. But don't worry, they're looking into it. Wizards of the Coast has reaffirmed that AI generated imagery does not have any place in their source material. This comes after AI generated imagery found its way into some of their source material. Granted, they maintain that that was a mistake and that they don't want that to happen again and that they don't allow it. That's that's what they're saying. Actor Jonathan Majors, who was poised to be the new big bad guy in Marvel, ended up just being a bad guy in normal uh, because he was found guilty of domestic assault and has been dropped by Marvel Studios. A man in Pennsylvania who was on death row for about 20 years has just been released after his murder charges were dropped. 20 years. God, 20 years of death row specifically. Footage has come out of Alec Baldwin beefing with pro-Palestinian demonstrators. He thinks he's a tough guy, I guess. Um, it's not, <laughs> it's kind of a funny video. He's like, you're asking me dumb questions. Go on my face. That was my impersonation of Alec Baldwin being on the wrong side of history. Activision Blizzard is set to settle their sexual discrimination and harassment lawsuit that the state of California brought against them in like 2021 for $55 million. After being sued for defamation and having to pay $150 million, Rudy Giuliani is being sued for defamation 
due to the defamation that he did during the defamation trial. And finally for today, Apple will be halting sales of the latest version of the Apple Watch due to a patent dispute. Apparently there's disputes around the blood oxygen sensor in the device. That is all I have for you for this year. Thank you so much for supporting Stuff Keeps Happening. Thank you for being here. It has been an absolutely wild ride this year, transitioning into doing content full time, abandoning my old career, not knowing what is next for me. And it's terrifying and humbling at the same time. Thank you so incredibly much. Stuff Keeps Happening will return January 8th. That is a Monday, I think, I hope. Yep, pretty sure, pretty sure. January 8th, 2024, I'll be back and I will see you then. All right, going on a little too long. God, must be like patron stuff just sitting, sitting up here. Hey, you, I don't know who I'm pointing to right now, but you, thank you specifically. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back next year. Take care and be well.